It's been a few weeks now um, that I've been looking in the job market for cloud and I wanted to share some of the things that I've noticed and kind of like hopefully help anyone that's looking to get into cloud. So five years ago when I got into it, it was a very different situation. Their companies were looking for uh, engineers to lift and shift and build infrastructure. So they were initially, or they were existing um, deployments architecture that was on like hypervisors, like their own hardware in data centers, and they were lifting it, shifting it, moving it to the cloud, um, whether that be Azure, AWS, or Google. And, and it was like, it was a great time. I was really lucky that I joined when I did, because I felt like it was sort of not, not that cloud was new then, but it felt like the cloud adoption was at the like right at the sweet spot. And I, I learned a lot. I was very fortunate and I learned an awful lot. Um, I did a lot of uh, initial builds. I did a lot of migrations and you know building pipelines and putting in new implementations and like protocols that at the time were new and today they're just kind of standard. So I really enjoyed it and it was fantastic. Now, when I'm looking at jobs now is very, very different. There isn't so much companies that have, you know, they don't have architecture on existing data centers that need lift and shift. Most of them have already been done. All the, the most of what you might get now is you might get companies go, I no longer want to be with Google. I want to move to AWS, which can sound, you know, challenging, but by comparison, it's not that bad. You know, especially if it's um, deployed in something like infrastructure as code, doing a migration piece like that, whilst it is still a project, it's not as big a project as trying to lift and shift non-containerized applications into a containerized cloud environment, um, Yeah, which is a whole other kettle of fish. So what are they actually looking for at the moment? What I'm seeing is that they are looking to hire engineers to scale and secure their existing infrastructure. So there's, there's currently, you know, there's a lot going on with AI, including attacks. So security is a big thing. Um, quantum computing, right? That's getting movement. If some, if, when that becomes like a commercial thing, which somebody will get hold of it one day in the future, I have no doubt, it's gonna change security forever. Like, it's nuts. So that's why they're focusing on securing their environments. AI, people are finding ways to poison to uh, toys, poison tools um, with like prompt injection and all sorts of techniques which are brand new. So the mitigation techniques will also be brand new. Um, concepts like agent to agent still need securing, you know, with other concepts and tools like agent gateway. And there's just, there's still a lot to be done to make uh, AI a, a strong, solid solution for infrastructure and companies. So that's kind of what I'm seeing. So the role itself now is actually more like, I'm a cloud engineer, and I use AI to accelerate my workload. That's what it looks like to me. I'm a cloud engineer. I build data pipelines to you know, provision and grow my, my machine model. That's, that's kind of how I see it. Um, and based on, I mean, I saw one the other day and it was a, it was a software engineer role and they were actually looking for a software engineer to help build their AI model. Was it an AI model? Or it might have been an agent. It was a tool. They were building, uh, it, was, it runs on Kubernetes. It was an AI tool that would then accelerate Kubernetes workflows for engineers, right? So like these tools are being built to help us not replace us currently, is how I see the market. So I think we're okay, but there is a shift. And we need to respect that and kind of like move with it. If, if we're like, if like me, you're trying to get into it again, um, I think it's worthwhile going with it. 
So, you know, I'm going to be focusing on trying to build some projects which leverage AI so I can showcase that because I think that's important. I think projects are going to be extremely important until such a time that, you know, we have the, the AI equivalent of your solutions architect certificate or professional architect Google, the Google PCA certificate. Because like five years ago, that's all I needed to kind of get involved. I just, here's my certificate, give me a job. And it was awesome. Um, now I need to demonstrate um, a certain level of understanding and you know con contextual awareness of what is going on. But I also see it as quite exciting because I can probably learn faster, you know, if I'm doing the prompt correctly, because prompt engineering is going to be a vital piece of every day-to-day -day life eventually. Um, because it's, you know, how, in my opinion, it's definitely, I don't Google search so much now. I'm like a 50-50 split. You know, 50% Google, 50%, um, you know, ChatGPT or Claude. Um, but yeah, so... 100% still learn cloud in 2025 going into 2026? Yes. Um, is that all you need? No. Cloud uh, certification, awesome, I think. Still worthwhile, um, but not hundreds. You don't need hundreds. You just, you just need ones nice. Um, and projects. Projects are going to be the big one. Showcase, showcase everything. Build something cool. Um, build something that exists. Doesn't matter. If you built it, it shows... It shows promise, it shows that you're willing to put in the time and effort, which in some cases, yeah, I suppose there is that question of if I was applying for a job in retail, they wouldn't exactly ask for a public portfolio of how I worked in retail. But that's that's the tech world. Tech world is very different. Um, yeah. If, you're, if you are currently studying um, to get into cloud, uh, or it's something you're looking to get into. I'd love to know what your take is and what you're focusing on. Because I know when I started, it was, um, I first started on CCNA, Cisco, and then I looked at Google. So I'd be interested to see what it is that that you are doing as, as a, either a beginner or somebody that's doing a career change. What are you focusing on based on what you found? I'd be really interested to see, um, and yeah, Hopefully we'll have an awesome discussion about it and uh, yeah, until the next one.